I have sand. I have plenty of sand at my house. I should have enough hardwood at my house. I might have enough gold at my house. Or very close to it. It's the aquamarines that I don't have. So we're gonna have to do some some mining. I don't know if I'll have enough scallops either. My name's Kizzy. Maui's dancing. Maui's usually sleep around this time. Maybe he's about to go to sleep. Oh dear. I do not have the inventory space to be doing what I'm doing. That's an emerald. Do I have enough money? I do. Hello. Okay, so all of Goofy's stalls are fully upgraded. Time to make some money. <laughs> Howdy. And that. Wait, didn't I have an emerald? Is my emerald still oh. on the ground? Or did I already sell the emerald? I'm confused. Oh, I sold it. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. How are the eggplants doing? They need to be watered. Oh, I do have enough scallops. So it's just the aquamarines that are a problem. Oh, I need the hardwood? Well, let's just take the hardwood then. I need sand. Great. Gold ingots, let's see how many we have. Eight, so we're 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 too short. All right, that should be plenty of gold. All right, how much gold is that? Nine. Hmm. I think it's fine. I I think I, think I had a couple more left at the house. Let's go back to the beach. Because aqua, aquamarine's usually around here. So we'll do the entire Glade of Trust in the beach again. We haven't, I feel like we haven't found... <laughs> I guess we have. I was going to say, I feel like we haven't found any gems. Remy's bad luck is what Remy is. Yeah, we have gems, just not the ones we need. Oh, a little crocodile. Oh, we'll have plenty of iron. There's an aquamarine. Aqua <laughs> There's an aquamarine. Oh, that one doesn't count because it's a shiny one. Oh, ow. Do I have room to collect some blueberry? I don't need blueberries. It's fine. Oh, 
You know what, Remy? Remy, Bonjour. we made great progress. <laughs> you should go back to your restaurant. We 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 had a great time today. So that leaves Ariel and Ursula as not that great of friends, but I can't hang out with them and force them to level up, so I just have to give them the things they want. So, it all happens just slower than the other ones. And we'll have plenty of time because we're gonna get Anna and Elsa. Maybe not today, because it, it's kind of getting a little late. But, uh, eventually. Nice. All right, Ariel's crafting station's done. So let's put away everything that's left over. The hardwood. We still have some sand left over. Okay. We'll go find Ariel and uh, sell what's in our inventory. Where's Ariel? Oh, I need to water some stuff at my... Um, Ariel's around the peaceful meadow. Okay. I'm so happy you're here. Well, thank you, Kizzy. It's fantastic. Mm. Now that you've helped me start collecting again, and I can fix anything I find that's broken, pretty soon I'll have the most wonderful collection in the village. You're such a good friend. Oh my gosh, have you ever seen anything so wonderful in your entire life? Excellent. All right. Good to see you. Uh -huh. I can't do Wally's stuff and I can't do Mother Gothel's stuff. Ariel and Ursula just have to have their... And Mother Gothel all just have to have their friendship grown. Ariel level 10, and then Anna and Elsa, and Remy level 10. So everyone, we're just waiting to get everyone up to level 10 at this point. <laughs> we'll check to make sure, um, Wally's thing is still glitched. It is. Oops, well, I didn't want to sit. So, nothing we can do about that. Eva. Eva. Ah. All right, here we go. On the other side of this door, you'll find a land full of fjords and meadows, as well as a very powerful woman with the ability to control ice and snow. Use your dream light to open the way. <laughs> Bravo, you opened the frozen realm. I tip my hat to you, though I, I prefer not to take it off. Here we go. Oh dear. Wow. 
now. Okay. Garlic. Interesting. Well, here we are. Wow, it's scary in here. Hey, you're here. Okay, think on a <sighs> think. You can figure this out. You got this. Hmm. Oh, hey, a person. I mean, of course you're a person. It's just that I, you know what, never mm -hmm. mind. Do you think you can help me with something? Huh. My sister's somewhere in these woods, and in case you haven't noticed, everything is kind of on fire right now. What can I do to help? I could do some magic. Maybe I can help solve whatever's going on. That would be amazing. We need to find a way to calm the spirits of nature. Mm. And we probably should start with Bruni, the fire spirit. So it doesn't burn down the whole forest. Uh, how do you calm fire? Well, first we need to find it. Bruni, or I guess Brunei, maybe, looks like the cutest little salamander, and it's really shy. I'm sure it didn't mean to cause all this trouble. It's probably just scared. Okay, so let's go find it. Right, there's just one slight problem. Bruni's somewhere deep in the forest, and there are all these fires blocking the way. Um... We need to find a way to extinguish them. Don't worry, my magic watering can should do the Ow. trick. Magic watering? Okay, I'm just gonna go with it. Oh, and here, Elsa gave me these fireproof gloves so we could hold Brunei and not get burned. Well, I'm ready when you are. Let's go get rid of all the fire and find our spirit and find ourselves as fire spirit. We'll talk more soon, okay? The music's, like, very intent, but I'm gonna change my clothes. Let's go. Oh, jeez. You know, I have an odd feeling Scar will be out in eight days. Eight days? Why is that? I found Brunei? Where? Catch him? How can I catch something I don't see? Hello? It's when the star path event ends? That's fair. Oh, I see. Okay, I see him now. There he is. Oh, he's so cute! Oh my god. He's so cute. Anna? Wow, am I happy to see you. Wow, you've really got the touch. Brunei seems so happy and calm. Hmm. I don't suppose you saw my sister anywhere. Afraid not. That's okay. I guess we'll just need to go deeper into the forest. Huh. There's one slight problem, though. A huge earth giant is blocking the way. An earth giant? Mm -hmm. Yes. Here, follow me. I'll show you. Remember, I believe in you. That's, that's very nice of you, Anna. See what I mean? That earth giant fell asleep over there and is blocking mm. the path. 
We'll have to wake it up, but we gotta be careful. They can be a bit grumpy, <laughs> which I totally get. Just ask my sister. I'm not much of a morning person. Not me. I'm always ready to seize the day. You sound like Elsa. I'm actually a little jealous. I could totally take a nap right now. But I won't, because we have a forest to save. So we've got one missing sister and one slumbering earth giant. How do we wake this thing up? Oh. Well, there's one thing that always wakes me right up. The smell of food. One gigantic breakfast. Uh, do earth giants even eat? Mm -hmm. I have no idea. But if we make something with a strong enough smell to get its attention, maybe it won't matter. Let's see. Oh, we can make it something El Elsa and I used to make when we were little. Stone soup. <laughs> On sunny days, the gardener would give us the ingredients and we'd pretend we were cooking for the whole kingdom. We'll need some craggy rocks and a broth of, or and a broth of oregano and basil. The smell of that should wake our giant friend in no time. Yeah. I'm sure if we look around here, we can find just the right craggy huh. rocks. But we might have to look somewhere else to find the rest of the ingredients. <laughs> Once we have the ingredients, let's cook the stone soup and put it on the pile of rocks by the earth giant's foot. We'll talk more soon, okay? Sure. Oh, do I already have? Oh, okay. This is a cute outfit. Basil. I'll probably just run straight to the meadow. Because I think that's faster than going to my house, actually. Or at least it's more convenient for me than having to take out every single basil. When I can just grab it really fast from over here. Like so. Hey, Wally, you can't talk. The fact that I already had an oregano on me is kind of surprising, but I guess I was picking stuff up. Oh, a chest. That's mint. That's not what I wanted. Lovely. Wow, am I happy to see you. Oh, I can smell that stone soup from here. I almost want to sneak over and try a little bit. Uh, maybe don't. Oh. Of course. That would be silly, but it's kind of fun to pretend. <laughs> Plus, the earth giant might not appreciate our tasting its soup. Hey, do you hear that rumbling? The earth giant's starting to wake up. Hurry, we need to hide. Phew, it worked. The earth giant woke up and left. But the path's still blocked. The ground is full of holes and rocks. Don't worry, I have a magic pickaxe and a magic shovel we can use. Wait, so in addition to a magic watering can, you also have a magic pickaxe and a magic shovel? <laughs> what are you gonna use next? A magic fishing rod? Uh, well, actually? Wow, okay, uh, maybe you can tell me about the rest of your magic items later. Mm -hmm. We need to keep exploring the forest. My sister has to be somewhere. Goodbye! Why not a magic multi-tool? Because awesome multi-tunes are for losers. Why do one... Why... Why... Wait. Why do a lot of things badly when you can do one thing goodly? Hmm? 
Have you considered that? I don't know. <laughs> Apparently I'm hungry. Because magic? Nah. Even magic has its limits. I definitely do not need soil, I'm gonna be honest. You love being goodly at things? Me too. I feel like I'm doing this in the least efficient way possible, which is possible. Did I make a circle? The bridge is flooded. Hi. Look, there is Elsa. Hmm. But she's on the other side of that raging river, and the bridge is completely flooded. We'll need to calm the water spirit. That might be a problem. Hmm. I don't see the water spirit anywhere around here. Um... Wait a second. The river's raging, but that pond over there, it's completely calm. Yeah. Let's go investigate. Ooh, thanks. Wow, am I happy huh. to see you. I think there's something glowing at the bottom. <sighs> I wish there was a way to fish it up. Right. Wait, do you actually have a magic fishing rod or was that a joke? I actually have a magic fishing rod. Uh -huh. Well then yes. get fishing. We'll need to see whatever's glowing at the bottom of that pond. Goodbye. It's a ring. Anna's engagement ring? I don't feel like that's important. Throw a hundred uh, logs hi. into the angry river and it'll eventually give up? Maybe. My engagement ring? What's it doing here? Oh, I must have dropped it in the pond while I was looking for Elsa earlier. My ring doesn't belong in these waters. The metal and the stone can't aren't native to the enchanted forest. I'll bet this is why the water spirit is upset. And look, now that we removed my ring, the waters are calm. And the bridge isn't flooded anymore. The winds are still pretty wild, though. But now that we found my sister, we can try to calm the wind spirit together. I can't wait to meet Elsa. Yeah. After everything you've done to help me, I know she'll want to meet you, too. Let's go talk to her. You got this. Hello. Hello, Kizzy. My sister tells me you've helped her get through the forest safely and calm the other spirits of nature. Oh. I can't thank you enough. Don't mention it. Helping people's what I do. That's very kind of you. Do you think you could help me with one last thing? Yes. I've been trying to calm Gale, the, whale, the wind spirit. It's usually very playful, but when the water spirit got upset, Gale was scared. I know Gale trusts me, but it's so agitated I'm not sure it can hear me clearly. I have an idea. We should put wind chimes in the trees so the spirits of nature can... create music. I don't know if Gale understands what music is, but it's definitely worth a try. I'll keep trying to calm Gale while you make the chimes. I'll need softwood for the structure and tubes, some iron ingots for the striker, and I'll need something to hold it together. Here, take the twine I found. Gale was tossing it around earlier. Maybe you can use that to assemble everything. Thanks. I'll be back with the wind chime well, soon. You. By the way, the Mother Gothel quest you have, you don't have to wait for each specific time. I don't. That's actually um, great to hear. Because... <laughs> I was worried. I was worried that since the game uh, follows like real life time, that it would be almost impossible for me to do without just like jumping onto the game in the middle of the day to try to figure it out. So that's good. I ha I didn't even attempt to look, to be honest. I was gonna have I was gonna go take a look, but then I uh, didn't care enough. But I will since you said that. It's so loud in the realm. It's loud to me. I think it's quieter for you guys. 
But I, I, I'm screaming over it. All right, soft wood and iron ingots. I should be. That should be fine. I, I, I got all that. It's probably not going to show it to me until I have this soft wood in my inventory. Do I have soft wood over here? Yes. I thought the same till my friend told me you don't have to. Well, you just- everyone's finding out by word of mouth. Oh, three of them. Okay. Oops. Great. I'll put the softwood back. That was not, um, resource intensive at all. Hello, Pula. I gotta I got go back, but uh, thank you for being here. You were missing earlier. I was worried. Pula? He gets stuck on things, poor little pig. Okay. Posture check and a stretch. Okay, posture check's easy. Stretch to the side. Oh my goodness. And a stretch to the other side. Am I going the right way? I think the answer is no. Where am I going? Okay, hopefully everyone got a stretch in. Oh, there's an exit right behind Elsa. I wish I would have noticed that earlier. I'm also just gonna stretch right above my head as well because, oh my goodness. Oh. Been sitting for a while. taking all the garlic and you guys can't stop me. Hi there. Thank you for helping me calm Gale. The spirits of nature are back in harmony. And the enchanted forest is in balance again. Sounds like your work is done here. Why not come visit my village? I want to bring balance there, too. <laughs> I'd love to visit your village, but for now my place is here in the Enchanted Forest. I'd have to make sure that nothing else goes wrong. <gasps> but after all you've done to help, I'm rather curious about where you come from. <laughs> I promise to visit your village one day. That was very impressive. Okay, well, sure. This is the biggest realm that we've seen so far. Hi. Wow, everything appears calm. Thanks so much for your help. Of course, for Elsa and me, there's always another adventure waiting around the corner. Um... I wonder what it'll be this time. Well, I come from this place called Dreamlight Valley, and... Kristoff is there. Kristoff's there? Why didn't you lead with that? And what is he doing there? Hmm. I have to go to your village. Will you take me right now? Of course. Thank you. Please, lead the way. Thank you so much. Anna? Okay, well, I'm here. I don't know where Anna is.
Oh, wow. This place is so different from Arendelle, and yet it feels oddly familiar. Wait, I've been here before, haven't I? Before the forgetting, of course. I remember now. Thank you so much for bringing me here. I'll see you soon, but right now, right now I have to go find Kristoff. There's something I need to warn you about, Anna. It's a long story, but to save the village, Kristoff had to give up his memories of you. It was all part of a magic spell. He won't remember who you are. I'm sorry, it's not his fault. What? No, that isn't possible. I'm sure he would do everything he could to save this place, but I don't care what kind of magic spell Kristoff is under. Our love isn't fragile. When he sees my face, he'll remember me. Right. Oh, it's more like, right? I really hope so, Anna. I'll just go talk to him. Thanks for the warning, Kizzy. Kristoff is sleeping. <laughs> it's very inconvenient for Anna. By the way, you get upgrades for your shovel and picks axe from Anna and Elsa. Thank goodness. I've been waiting for them because it to uh, access the other parts of the um the forest of valor and the other place that I need it for. Oh no. Not the tomatoes. Oh, I'm stuck. Wally! Wally. Anna removes stumps and Elsa removes the ice. Thank goodness. I knew- I knew that I would get upgrades from somewhere. But I figured, like, maybe Ursula or someone would do it. Okay. Uh, sunlit fly- or sunlit pap cow. Sun- <laughs> Oh my goodness. Let's open these pink bags and then we'll go up to the Sunlit Plateau. Miniature snow castle. Cute. Nope. Nope. Maui is for the shell things and Merlin is the large mushrooms. Yeah, I got those two already. There's new tools coming too? Oh goodness. I can barely control the ones I have. Hi there, pal. Hi there, pal. Cell food. The scar will give us the upgrades to remove bones. That makes sense. Since that, like, little elephant graveyard is kind of, um... Lion King-esque. Where am I going? Sunlit Plateau. I'm just looking around the Sunlit Plateau for the, the thingies. Cinderella's on the list, too? Ooh. I'm excited for an update, only because I feel like I'm almost at <laughs> the end of what we already have. There was a dig up place right here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. No Maleficent, though. Oh my goodness. I'm like a bird. I'll only fly away. Oh, there it is. I forgot that they're not buried. They're just here. She's your favorite villain? My favorite villain... I, I don't know. I don't have a favorite villain off the top of my head. I guess Scar, kind of. He's sassy. He's an interesting villain. I've walked around the Glade of Trust a lot. How have I not seen it yet? I guess because I wasn't looking for it. And also, I never go over here by Mother Gothel's tree. Okay, it's not here. Scar is your top three. My favorite... Movies... Disney movies don't really have villains is probably the problem. Or they do have villains, they're just not, like... 
I don't know how to describe it. They're not like traditional villains, I guess. Well, my my favorite Disney movies are Big Hero 6 and like the villain guy is just like a, a dad who's taking his anger out on the city. And then, um, I have to sneeze. And then Moana and the villain is Teka, but Teka is just to feedy, so it's it's difficult. Because you don't really interact with Teka unless you count Maui as the villain. Which, you, you know, that's also not villain-esque. Because he, he's a good guy, but he's stubborn and full of himself and arrogant. The Glade of Trust. I'm in the Glade of Trust. Am I losing my mind? You moved all your trees and berry bushes to the main area. I like having them all spread out. I want it to feel natural. I don't think this Glade of Trust thing spawned. Olaf is coming? That's probably for the best. All the other characters are here. Alright, if anyone sees this shard, you gotta tell me. It's the rules. It's the law. I don't... I don't think it's here. It's not here right now. Right now. Give me this coin. Give it to me. Okay, I think I give up on the shard thing that's not here. I didn't have to put a house down for Anna, which is interesting. Maybe she'll just live with Kristoff. Scandalous. Merlin scared me. I'll leave and I'll have to come back a little later to figure out the, um, the thing. Alright, did I get everyone's... Remy's got all done. Shiny amethyst from Ariel that I never found. I don't think I've seen an, an, an amethyst at all today. Anna sake sushi. French fries. French fries. And white impatience. Sake sushi. French fries. In wide impatience. French fries are easy. Took you two tries. I was just gonna put a potato and a tomato and hope for the best. Because <laughs> it looked like it was french fries with ketchup in the picture. Did she want an amethyst or a shiny amethyst? I guess I can look again. Shiny amethyst. Oh, my inventory's full and I can't pick up all these stinking, uh... Gold. What is this? Dawn fragment. Oh, sure. Uh, so at- Oh, Atlantis and Rapunzel are on the rumor list. That's interesting. Atlantis is... An interesting one to make a rumor about, because it- like, it, uh, people don't talk about Atlantis as much as they talk about a lot of other things. Well, I haven't found any amethyst. Hey, Wally. If Elsa's here, then I'm here. What kind of a package deal? Elsa's not here. Wow, this is for me. Thank you, Kizzy. 
Excuse me. Can I ask you something? Could you please help me? Kizzy, just who I wanted to see. I know something we could do for Elsa we could do so Elsa feels welcome when she visits Streamlight Valley. Do you have time to help me? What do you uh... need? I want to find somewhere that feels like it's made just for Elsa. Somewhere, somewhere magical? <laughs> sure, but in this valley, isn't everything at least a little bit magical? I do have one idea. Oh. There's an ice cavern I saw on the other side of the Forest of Valor that reminds me of the amazing structures Elsa builds. Hmm. But I need your help to get there because of these tree stumps blocking the bridge. Follow me, I'll show you. Remember, I believe in you. Before we do that, uh, is there anything you want to ask? Sometimes I wonder what it would be like to have powers like Elsa does. If you could have any power, what would you choose? Um... Flying. Yeah! Oh, that would be amazing. Can you imagine soaring through the sky free as a bird? It would have made following Elsa up that mountain a lot easier. Yeah! Oh, uh, hi. This is the path to the ice cavern, and as you can see, we've got a problem blocking our way. I tried to dig up the stumps, but they're pretty fierce. The roots are all dug in. I don't think a regular shovel is going to get this done. Lucky you have got my magic shovel right here. Yeah. Of course you have a magic shovel. You're the best, Kizzy. Yeah. Come on, let's clear the bridge. Uh-oh. Uh-oh? Uh-oh what? I don't think even my shovel's going to do the trick. Those things look like they feed off of dark magic. Okay. Okay, we just have to think of something else. I can't wait for Elsa to see this place. There's got to be a way to get past these stumps. <laughs> I know, right? Let me think. Wait a second. I've got it. The other day, I was looking at the books in my library and found a book about mystical flora and fauna. <laughs> it was pretty technical, but I bet it has the answer to clearing these stumps away. Let's go find that book at my house. Thank you so much. Out of curiosity... Do you live with Kristoff? Because he's asleep and it's not going to let me in the house. Just saying. Where do you live? I don't, I don't know where Anna lives. She lives with Kristoff? Well, it's not going to let me in his house right now. That's scandalous. Oh, hello, Anna. I can't go to your house. Kristoff has not even been awake since you've been in this town. French fries. I'm going with potato and tomato. Or, I guess, just potato with seasoning. Hmm. I don't know why I'm going to Remy's when I can do it at my own house. I don't know how many potatoes I actually have now that I think about it. Yeah, that makes sense. I should have saw that coming. What about potato and, like, basil? Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Potato? Oh, is it, uh, potato and, like, Canola oil? There we go. Hi! I have something to give you. <laughs> Against all odds, I have something to give you. You try the tomato and the potato? Listen! They oh. put the, the the ketchup in the picture. It's 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 yeah. uh, misleading. We'll make one more attempt to um look for the shard in the glade of trust. 
Oh, 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 it's magic. You know. Never believe it's not so. Okay, I don't see it anywhere. Which means we'll call... We'll, we'll, we'll call this in now. Thank all of you guys for hanging out. And uh, see you next time. Bye!